There are two stages of diabetic retinopathy. Non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, NPDR. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy, PDR. We now explain proliferative diabetic retinopathy, PDR. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy is a more advanced form. As diabetic retinopathy progresses, circulation to the retina is affected. Due to this, new blood vessels begin to grow into the retina and into the gel-like fluid called vitreous that fills the central posterior segment or cavity of the eye. These blood vessels are thin and delicate and may leak blood into the vitreous, causing clouding of vision. The macula is a small region of the retina that is responsible for sharp, detailed central vision. When the fluid leaks into the macula, it causes the macula to swell, resulting in blurred vision. As the retina gets damaged, scar tissue is formed and pressure builds up in the rear chamber. This could result in damage to the optic nerve. At the same time, as scar tissue shrinks, it pulls at the retina and a portion of the retina may break loose from the back of the eye. This is called retinal detachment. This results in a gradual loss of vision and ultimately blindness.